Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. In this lesson, we'll learn about certain special properties of lines and angles. Okay, so we'll find out what the sum of angles on a straight line is, then what the sum of angles at a point is, and we'll also find out that vertically opposite angles are equal to each other. Okay, so let's start with the first one first. Let's find out what the sum of angles on a straight line is. Okay, so say that I have a straight line, something like this. Okay, and I'm going to label this as A, B. Okay, then I have a point here that I mark O on this line. Okay, and from O, say I want to shoot out a line that I call OC. Okay, so this is OC. Now, what I want to find out is the sum of angles on a straight line. And the straight line is AB or AOB. So what I want to find out is what is this angle plus this angle equal to, right? These are the two angles that are formed on this straight line, AOB, okay? This angle, which is angle AOC, let's call it uh, maybe X. Okay, let's fill in some color into this. It's yellow. And the second angle, which is COB, okay, let's fill another color into this and call it maybe Y, okay. So what I want to find out is what is X plus Y equal to, and we'll see that X plus Y is equal to 180 degrees, okay. So quite simple, all we do is take a protractor and measure the angles and we'll know what each of these angles is equal to, right? So now I want to measure first of all what angle AOC is equal to. Now AOC is formed by lines AO and CO. So I center the protractor on O, the point O, and then I place the zero here on AO, and then I see how many degrees are there between AO and CO. So over here we see that it's 46 degrees. So I write that down that angle X is equal to 46 degrees, right? Now, how about angle Y? Well, angle Y is formed by the lines OB and OC. So I place the zero on OB, okay, the zero of the protractor on OB, and I count here, and I see that the angle Y is equal to 134, right? I start from here, 0, 10, 20, 30, and so on. This is 130, and this is 134. So this angle Y is equal to 134 degrees. So then what is the total of these two? Well, 46 plus 134 is equal to 180 degrees. So there you go. The sum of angles on a straight line is equal to 180 degrees. And, you know, actually, no matter how many lines you have here, say, you know, you could put another line, you could shoot another line here, and let's call this as D, then what happens is this angle Y, the orange gets split into two, but the sum of these two is still equal to 134. So no matter how many lines you have between these two straight lines, AO and OB, or this one single straight line, AOB, the sum will always remain the same. So the sum will always be equal to 180 degrees. So that's one special case, okay? Now let's talk about the second one. Let me get rid of all this. Okay, so the second is the sum of angles at a point. All right, what is that? Well, what that means is that if I have a straight line again, okay, and let me call this point O, and that's the point we're interested in, then what we want to find out is the sum of angles at this point O, okay? So what is this angle equal to? So if I go around this point O, then how many degrees will I cover? We'll find out that it'll be equal to 360 degrees. But let's see, okay, let's see how. So the simplest thing to do is to shoot out a few lines from this point O and measure the angles that they form, okay? So here is what I have. Let's also label these lines. So this is point O. This is A, B, C, D, okay? And we're going to find out the sum of the yellow angle, blue angle, pink angle, and the purple angle. Okay, so what is the sum of these four angles? Well, we'll see that the sum is 
always equal to 360 degrees. No matter how many lines you draw at this point, the sum of the angles formed by all the lines together will always be equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's start. Let's take a protractor. Quite simple. Let's take a protractor as usual. Okay, and measure all the angles. Okay, so the yellow angle, actually, let's give it some name. Let's call it W. This one is X. This is Y and this is Z. Now, what is angle W equal to? Well, angle W is equal to, it starts from here, 0 until 121. So, W is equal to 121. I write that down, 121 degrees. Okay, how about X? Well, I take the protractor, rotate it, place it on OB, and see the angle that it makes with OC. Right, that will be X. Okay, so x is equal to 76 degrees. Okay, x is equal to 76 degrees. So I write that down, x is 76 degrees. How about y? Well, we take the protractor one more time, rotate it, place it on OC, and see the angle that it makes with OD. And this time it is 108 degrees. Okay, so y is equal to 108. Eight degrees. Finally, we have Z. Let's measure Z. Take the protractor, rotate it one more time. So it's on OD. And then we measure the angle that it makes with OA. Okay. Well, the angle that it makes with OA is equal to, let's see, 30, 40, 50, and 55 degrees. Okay. So I write that down that Z is equal to 55 degrees. Now, all we do is add up all these angles. So, angle W plus angle X plus angle Y plus angle Z. What should that be equal to? Well, that would be equal to 121 degrees plus 76 degrees plus 108 degrees plus 55 degrees. And that would mean... 5 and 8 is 13, 13 and 6 is 19, 19 plus 1 is 20, 0, 2 carried over, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 7 is 14, plus 2 is 16, and 1 carried over, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So it's equal to 360 degrees. So you see, the sum of angles at a point, in this case, the sum of all these angles, yellow, blue, pink and purple at the point O is equal to 360 degrees. Now, you know, you can make as many lines as you want between them. Okay, you can make more lines if you like, but you will see that no matter how many lines you make, the sum or the total of all the angles at this point will always be equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so this is always going to be equal to 360 degrees. All right, so the second one is done. Now let's move on to the third, the last one, okay? So what we have is now vertically opposite angles. Now what are vertically opposite angles? Well, let's see. We make two lines here that cross each other like this. The vertically opposite angles would be these angles. This angle is vertically opposite to this angle over here. Okay, let me color them. So yellow is vertically opposite to orange. And these two angles over here, this and this, okay, this angle is vertically opposite to this angle over here. Okay, so the light blue and say the dark blue. They are vertically opposite to each other. And what we're going to prove here, what we're going to find out here is this angle yellow is equal to this angle orange because they're vertically opposite to each other. Okay, they're opposite, right? You can see that they're opposite. And this angle light blue is equal to this angle dark blue because these two are also vertically opposite, okay? When you cross two lines, these are the opposite angles and these are also the opposite angles, okay? So let's see how they are equal. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is move this a bit to the side and make a few copies of this because I will need the original figure later on. So make one copy, make another copy and hide it. Okay. All right. Now let's first prove that the yellow angle is equal to the orange angle. So what I'm going to do is cut this yellow angle and place it over the orange angle to see if it really is equal to orange or not. Okay. So I take it 
I cut it, I faced it, and I rotate it. Okay, turn it. Now let's see. Let's try to fit it here. Well, what do we see? It fits perfectly inside orange angle and that tells us that the yellow angle is equal to the orange angle. So the two angles that were vertically opposite are equal to each other, right? So that's done. That's one set of vertically opposite angles that are equal to each other. How about the light blue and the dark blue? Let's do that, okay? So I take another of the original ones, move it here to the side and do the same with this as we did with this, okay? So now I cut the light blue, paste it, and rotate it. Now what do we see? Does it fit into the dark blue? It does. So there you go. There's another pair of vertically opposite angles. So if you go back to your original figure, okay, this is the original figure that we had over here. Okay, hide everything else. Then we saw just now that this angle A is equal to this angle B. Okay, so angle A is equal to angle B. So they form one set of vertically opposite angles. And angle C is equal to angle D. So angle C and angle D form another pair of vertically opposite angles. Okay, so that's that. Now, how about if there are more than two lines? Okay, so if I have, suppose, you know, say three lines, then can you find out the vertically opposite angles here? Okay, say I have these three lines. Okay, so if there are three lines crossing each other at a single point, let's call this point O, then there will be three sets of vertically opposite angles. So for homework, go and find out which are the vertically opposite angles in this case. All right. That's that. That's all I'm going to talk about in this lesson. I hope you've understood it. And I hope that now you'll go and solve some practice exercises as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.